Joining us in the studio is the astronomer Dr. Michael Geffert. What do you think? Is there really life out there? Yes. Personally, I believe there is life somewhere in the universe. Mm -hmm. But for us, the contact is very difficult because the distances in the universe, they are so large. Mm -hmm. Getting in contact would mean the life is intelligent. Yes, I think that, um, of course, there is some, some other life, but I think also there is some intelligent life somewhere in some galaxy. Uh, but the distance is so far that the signals would take so long to come here to Earth and our answer would also be mm -hmm. take, would also take much time. That would not really be a dialogue. No, that is, would not be a dialogue that's just only one signal. And uh, we have in astronomy some people just only hearing with a radio telescope to get some messages mm -hmm. of the aliens. Life here on Earth is based on oxygen and on water. You think there could be a completely different form of life? It is difficult to imagine. I think um, the life, how it was developed here on Earth, it is uh, a good system. Uh, the, um, a good development and uh, it's difficult to think about other yeah. uh, ways. If we really detected intelligent life out there, let's call them aliens, what would happen to the people down here? What would happen to our self-concept, to our worldview? Uh, I think that our world will worldview would be different because at the moment we think we are the, the only, we have the feeling we are the only intelligent uh, um, people, uh, um, animals or how to say. And um, this would be dif different and for, for example for religion it would be interesting what would be a god for the aliens and mm -hmm. how is the situation god there and here or is it a different god and so it and could these be questions. actually a sort of humiliation, like Darwin or Copernicus gave it to the world. No, I think it's not a humiliation, because um, I think every person um, is a miracle. And um, if you are in contact with uh, such persons, uh, you will feel that. And you have to imagine that is uh, that the other persons are very valuable. So if you detect somewhere other aliens, uh, it would not change something. You actually do research in the field of astrometrics, meaning you measure how stars move. Um, how big is the challenge for people like Michel Mayor actually trying to find single planets by other stars? Uh, he, need a, he needed a very sophisticated technique. And uh, the basic of all these measurements is that you will have a star in the middle and a planet which is moving around, but the star is moving a little bit and you have to detect this small motion of the star. And you can detect it either by astrometry. This was tried by Peter van der Kamp some years ago, but he was not successful. Mm -hmm. Michel Mayor used radio velocities and um, he, measured, he was very successful mm -hmm. since some years. And he was the first one together with Didi Kelo to find some planet, but he did not see this planet. Will we have a chance one day to find out more about these planets, just quickly? Yes, I think so. Um, we need techniques, astro astronomy techniques, which go outside of the Earth. Mm -hmm. We have to go in space and then we can find. Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Geffert.